It's a, a romantic comedy uh, ba about uh, an Iranian American girl who falls in love with an eccentric artist. She's a lawyer, he's an artist, and then she brings him home to his, her family and you know, chaos ensues. And it's, wait, you had a really like <laughs> smart, she has this like whole really smart way of saying it. And I'm like, they fall in love. <laughs> so you say it. It's, it's, it's just about uh, two very different people bringing their families together uh, for a Persian wedding. So it's about family and the trials of tradition and, and, and love. And, you know, it's just kind of navigating modern love as a first generation American. So where did the inspiration for this come from? Because this is a story that's playing out every day in every city, not only in America, but yes. around the world. Um, it's loosely based on a personal experience. Um, and it started, you know, the screenplay started off as a, in a very pers as a very personal story. And then over the years, it evolved into something kind of different. Um, and it, so I, I'd say in the end, it ended up being kind of a mashup of my personal experience and um, some of the stories that I heard from other friends who were in intercultural relationships and some of Tara's stories, because I, I, you know, once I cast Tara, I kind of rewrote it for her and, and, and I took a lot from her life and, and she really connected to the script because she had experience um, as an Iranian Canadian and she, you know, she had been in um, relationships outside of her culture. And, and so, you know, I mean, I think it's just a modern day romance and so many people can connect to it. Where did you guys hook up? Where did you guys find yourselves? Um, we were I found Tara in LA. She had this one woman show called Mahmoud. Um, and I was looking for an Iranian American comedian, actress. Um, and, uh, you know, that pool is very small. I mean, I, I kind of looked at a few actresses and then I heard about um, I heard about her and then I went to her, see her show. Oh, you did the reading too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I cast her in a reading. Um, I cast her in a reading and she did really great and then she told me at the reading I have this one woman show you should come check it out at the Santa Monica Playhouse and then I went and saw her show and then I was like yes for sure she's Nusha Husseini who's the lead character and she um, yeah she was just like I think perfect for the part and also her play her plays message and it was very much in line with the movie so I saw that we cared about the same things um, and we're are advocating for the same kind of like I think values the Persianization of the world <laughs> I think is what <laughs> multiculturalism I'm and right. feminism that's Only what we Iran love yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'm joking. joking we just believe in in multiculturalism so much and, um, and yeah, immigrant stories, immigrant stories, just like the mashup, the family mashup, the intercultural relationship story. We just we love these kinds of stories. Yeah. And it's stories that are happening, like I said, not only here in America, but in Canada and all over the world yes. every day, every hour of the day. So for our viewers at home, take us through what a Persian wedding is. I'm about to have one. She's I'm about literally. To have one. I'm Mazel getting, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm getting married um, in a couple months. So, so this is really reality this for you. This is your life imitates art in a in, in an intense way. <laughs> um, so we're doing. So it's it's a beautiful ceremony. First of all. Um, we don't stand at an altar. It, there's there's a table that we set, a large table that we set that has a bunch of symbolic things with a mirror at the end. The couples see the mirror, see each other in the mirror first, and there's candles and there's all of these other things that symbolize fertility and great fortune and um, I don't know longevity, a sweet marriage, and then we dip our fingers in honey and we feed it to each other and the, the officiant reads poetry and it's really really beautiful and symbolic and yeah and that's there's a lot of that in our culture it's we love metaphors and symbolism and poetry so there's a lot of that in the wedding ceremony as well and it's big you have to invite everyone you know the whole town the pretty much except Los Angeles is a pretty big town so we're only inviting some of the people we know certain neighborhoods <laughs> certain right? neighborhoods just the good neighborhoods um, but yeah it's it's really um, beautiful and connected and, and centered around family. What culture is your husband to be from? He's Iranian too. Oh, awesome. Oh yeah, he's Iranian American. Awesome. So, you know, you guys have been on the festival circuit for a while. Um, what has some of the conversations come up during the Q&As and after the Q&As with you guys, with the audience members? 
Everyone wants to see my Celine Dion impersonation. That's the only thing that I get at every she festival. Did she did a lot of impersonations in the movie. Yeah. Which she also does in real life in her, like, in her acting. Um, no, we get um, so... The, my favorite reaction to the movie is a lot of intercultural couples and families come up to us and they're not necessarily like Iranian and American or like, you know, white. They're like Ethiopian and Mexican who have mixed or like Jewish and Korean who have mixed and they come up to me and they're like, this was just like our wedding. Like we had so much culture clash and like, you know, her father is Mexican, but he's exactly like this Iranian father and he made me marry her before we moved in together. And so I think it just, a lot of immigrant communities connect with this family and the story. Um, and what I love about an, another reaction I love is like people who aren't necessarily, particularly men who aren't interested in the romantic comedy genre, they like this movie because it represents some new characters in the genre that we haven't seen before. Um, and so I think that's one of my favorite reactions is like when people come up and they're like, I don't really write rom-coms, but I like this movie um, because they could identify with it. And there was, you know, they had their own emotional associations with the film. Um, so I think there's something in it for everyone. Um, it's multicultural, it's multi-generational. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just like a very fun uh, movie. And I think it's very, it's for everyone. What is your secret sauce in getting the guys to like this rom-com? Because a lot of guys don't like rom-coms. They're like, oh, you know, I'm going to yeah. go in the other room while you do on Netflix, watch it on Netflix. But what is your secret sauce? What have you found? Well, there's characters. There is interested, interesting male characters. Um, there's like a, a character that is a war veteran from Iran, and he, you know, he finds love later in life, and he just, you know, they're like, well, we've never seen a rom-com where that has like a war story in it, you know. And I think it's just like there are new characters and politics in. Like, that's what I wanted to do was introduce, expand the genre to new characters and politics. And I think that's what's interesting for people is to sort of see the genre kind of bend in this new way. It's also, I think, part of it from, from, my, from my observation is that it's very grounded. So it's not like heightened um, comedy like like a lot of rom-coms are kind of a little campy and that's a part of the genre but it's a very grounded realistic. comedy realistic comedies that um it's f funny but it's not trying to be funny do you know what i mean yeah so naturally funny. it's naturally funny it, it's not like joke on joke on joke you know um Though there are a lot of jokes there are a lot of jokes so your husband to be is in for a treat right the real one yeah, or the fake the, one? The real one. I mean, <laughs> you're naturally funny, so I guess he's going to be on his toes the whole time. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just like super funny, just naturally in real life. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's really... <laughs> so let's get into something a little bit deeper. So mm -hmm. this festival is all about inclusion. They've been doing, you know, the inclusion thing since for five years, you know, since it became really cool. And I'm finding out that film combats hate. And you know, when most Americans think about Iran, they think of the Ayatollahs, they think about, you know, Iran threatening Israel with nuclear weapons, they think about war. But what is it about films like yours that really can combat the hate and the misunderstanding with the Iranian and Persian culture? And how important is that to you as filmmakers and as a whole in the film community? I, I'll have one little thing to say about it. I think um, the more we see that the the people of this different culture are the same as us, they're just people living their lives, which is what this movie really does. Um, the more chance there is, chances there are for inclusion, chances there are that we can relate to each other as human beings and not as different sides of camps. You know what right, I mean? Yeah. And um, that's what I think this movie really does beautifully because it's just, we're just Iranians living our lives, like, you know, getting married and falling in love and telling our stories. And, and I think that the more we see of that, the more we can relate to each other, especially in comedy, the more we can laugh at our at ourselves and at each other and and find the common threads yeah so, I would say like comedy comedy is such a unifier you know politics is a divider and um, I think that's what's so hard like heartwarming at the screenings is like people you rally and unify around comedy um, and 
I wanted to represent an Iranian American family that's funny because my family's really funny. Um, and I rarely see that depiction of like a funny Muslim family. Um, and you know, and we, we went through a lot. My parents like just fled war and they immigrated and they dealt with all the, you know, social barriers, language barriers, um, you know, racism, it's all, everything that immigrants face, but like their art of survival was humor. And I think it's like comedy is such an amazing defense mechanism and so many people connect to that. Um, and it's, it is just like a funny movie um, and with a lot of funny, characters and comedians and and I think the performances are amazing Rita Wilson's in it Shora Aglashlu and also Shora Aglashlu who's like this Oscar nominated Emmy winning actress you know she always gets offered very serious roles and I think the reason she she wanted to do this was like you know this was funny she's like I rarely get to play funny and she's, funny. And she's, really, she's funny. really funny and that surprises people too they're like whoa she's so funny um so I just think like a funny light-hearted family is something that everyone connect can connect and to. It can bring the whole world together. Yeah, it really can. And I think we're so much more, we have so much more in common than we think. And it's it's shattered my own preconceptions and it, it surprises me like when people come up to me and they're just like, that's exactly like my Ethiopian father-in-law, you know? And I'm like, God, Only that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and I just like, I just went to, I just came from DC and there was like a big Ethiopian <laughs> turnout and like, it was amazing. And then like in Texas too, there was just like a really big um, Mexican, um, American, like, um, where else? Who else is a big know, tra- Just like immigrant know. communities always turn up to see this and movie. And that's what I really <laughs> like about film is that you can really combat the hate by showing that, hey, yeah. we just have different colored skin. We eat some different food, but we're, at the end of the day, we're our families are whole. All lot of alike. our families are crazy. I know. And they're like yeah. the same. And I think that's what's, what was interesting about the story is like the more specific, because they're like, this is such a specific story. And it, but that's what makes it so universal. I think yeah. that is ultimately what, what makes, I think, stories work is the more specific you get, the more universal it becomes somehow. Totally. So, wrapping up, what's next for this film? Uh, an Oscar nomination. Oscar nomination. <laughs> All right, um, great. No, uh, <laughs> we got picked up, so we have distribution now. Um, we got picked up on the festival circuit. That's, and all, it's that's what festivals are all about, folks. Yes, and, and you know we've been such a crowd pleaser at so many festivals, and we've picked up a lot of awards. And so a, a distributor picked us up, and they're going to be releasing Simple Wedding theatrically in ten cities nationwide in November. So please tell your friends. A new holiday please, film. New holiday film, um, and it's, uh, you know, they can follow our journey on our social media platforms, and our handle is Simple Wedding Movie.